So let's get some batteries in our E2990. The actual case is quite light, so it looks easy to break. Now you can buy spares anyway, but it's actually uh, quite a light device. So you can see there's a little tab there. Now you can probably just pull it with your thumb and then open it from the top. I've got this. I'm just gonna gently open it up like so. I'm just gonna be careful. Like so, and just pull it open. So you can see that's the batteries go in each half, okay? You can see there's some sort of control circuitry there that I'm sure is very important that you're gonna need. So all the, the compartments uh, are labeled. I've charged these batteries up. Like I said, I got this from Amazon. It was like six quid. It just works brilliantly. It actually charges up uh, with USB. Watch this. I think they're brilliant. USB, look, and it tells you when they're charged. And they do, they do small AA, AAA batteries. They do the square batteries. So anyway, let's get the batteries in here. And like I said, it's clearly labeled which way round they go. You've got the tab at the bottom as well. And that, you can buy a battery pack. We're just gonna get these in. I did this once before, and in front of everyone, I put batteries in the wrong way round. How silly was that? So that's one half. And I like using these kind of batteries because they're cheap as chips. Not the chips are cheap. Not the chips are cheap anymore. Cheap as chips. And um, I've got loads lying around. And you can buy quite high capacity ones. I'm not sure why I've decided to go with the green. Oh, am I a battery short, am I? One, two, three, four. I thought it was eight. I do have more batteries. Let's have a look. Is it nine, is it? Oh, that's an unusual figure, isn't it? So let's find the ninth battery. Right. Let's get it the right way around. Got your tab at the top, so you... It's like an alligator sandwich. Do you need to make sure it slots in correctly? And then it just clips together. Now I had a go at sliding this on the radio and I did find it quite stiff to do it. Um, oh, it feels so much heavier now that you've got, now you've got some batteries in there. But in a good way, confident that it's, yeah. I do think, it, if you drop this item, I do think it wouldn't be that hard to break it. So probably recommend getting a, a leather case if you're going out and about at home, it's fine. You know, you can, I think you can buy a, a kit that, um, let's put it slip in there. You can buy a kit um, where you can just, this part goes to a cigarette lighter uh, and then just plug it in on your power supply and it's like a base station. I think that's a, that's a good idea. And there's some really good cases out there for sale. So that's how you put the battery pack on. I actually recommend if you ever use it, you get a big long one point, 130 centimeter antenna like this one, but for now we'll just put the the rubber duck on. I'm not expecting to receive anything with a an antenna of that length inside my house on a hill. Yeah, I think we probably probably would. So BNC connector you, with a BNC, you plonk it on until it slides down, then turn it towards towards and down. So let's turn it on for the first time. Ooh, wow. It's actually a really nice blue display. So you've got volume here. Now, remember, I've never used one of these ever. So I don't even know what channel we're on. It does feel nice to hold. When I've watched videos, I thought, oh, it looks a bit big and a bit like a shotgun. I don't, I, but actually, it feels nice. So the channel, the channel change is these two buttons here. You've got function and channel. So. If we're going up and down, look. So we go to, I know it's 27 so it tends to have activity. 27 there. Uh, squelch, you press this once and it says squelch here in small writing. See if you can see that. And so when it says squelch, you can move it up and down with the with the button, there's a timeout, so hit it once, squelch, 
and then we're doing the squelch numbers there. See it? The bottom signal thing there at the bottom. Let's keep it quite low. Now what's that? Is that mic gain? Yeah, look, you can see above the 50, it says mic gain. Press it again. RF gain. I'm guessing that most of the time you'd leave that on, wouldn't you? You've got this function button. And when you hit the function button here, you can select the blue item. So on here it says M. Let's do that again. Function. Oh, very bright. Lots to learn about this radio. Back with new videos soon.